Welcome back, Arsla Bacon here. Welcome to the start of a brand new campaign. You guys voted and you have voted for Grand Cathaway with Mayo. I'm going to say that's how you pronounce that. Please don't crucify me in the comment section. Cup of coffee with the soap, lads. Hmm. Let's go, let's go. Right, I don't know anything about this faction, so this is going to be very interesting. Um, harmony balance both yin and yang to achieve harmony, which will confer powerful effects. Compass direct the Wu. Zing Compass to defend Cathaway from threats north of the Great Bastion. The Ivory Road gain wealth by sending out caravans to deliver cargo to faraway cities in the west. Oh, yeah. oh, we've seen the caravans around the map, of course. Didn't really attack them in the last couple of campaigns. It was only really the Ogre campaign we were actually attacking them. Uh, so we are going to be playing her. Mayo, Mayo Ying, I'm going to say. Might be Miss Mayo. Mayo? Mayo Ying, maybe. One of those. Okay. Uh, Corruption Effect. Minus two leadership plus ten when fighting against the demons of chaos. Uh, how do you pronounce that, by the way? <laughs> demons or demons? Demons. It always sounds really funny when I say that. Uh, communication, communication, ammunition plus twenty percent for all armies. Uh, upkeep is minus fifty percent for missile infantry units, which obviously these guys are based on. Harmony plus three for Ying. So does that mean I have to get more Yang to counter that, or not to counter it, but to go alongside it? Um, she starts in the northwest corner. All that stuff as well. We will be playing legendary, of course, very hard difficulty. Um, the realms of chaos have been turned off. If this option is disabled, the rest of chaos realms will never open. Yes. So, realms of chaos will not spawn. We have um, another mod installed as well that's going to give us uh, an actual victory condition to work towards. So. That'll be cool. Right, let's jump in, boys. From what I've seen, fighting against this faction, they're very good with range, but their melee stuff's not that great. The high tier stuff's alright, from what I've seen. There's two units, I think it's... I don't even know what they're called, mate. I know by looking at them. There's one shielded unit and one unshielded unit that look really strong as far as melee stuff goes. These guys are insanely good. They just tank forever. At least for like when we've been attacking them and stuff like that. Um, now, also going into this campaign, I do want you guys to give me a bit of feedback because, like I say, I don't really know much about these guys, so I'm going to be trying to play it a little bit slower than I normally would. Um, I've got a little bit of advice that we'll go through in a second for Mark, so we'll have a look at that. Um, and I also want you guys to name the unit, so if you want to name a unit after yourself, just let me know in the comments section down below what unit you want to name after yourself, and we'll see how long we can keep them alive for. I'm going to try and keep my first army alive for the whole campaign. And if it's a named unit, I won't replace them. How about that? How about that? I'll have some cruddy units by end game, hopefully. Try and keep them alive, boys. I'm going to name one after myself. I get to pick the first one, of course. Yeah, very good. Very good. It's obviously not based on China, this faction, right? No, not at all. Their artillery is really good, too, eh? Probably gives the Empire artillery a run for its money. Or even, um... And the Dwarven Artillery. She has a lot of factions with good artillery. I'm going to say Nurgle's got good artillery too. Um, obviously with their only one and only artillery unit, then uh, the Soul Grinder. But Jesus, they do a lot of damage. Um, but I think it's like the Rocket Battery um, thing. That does a heck of a lot of damage. The same Rocket Battery, was same sort of damage as what the Empire one does. Actual Rocket Battery. If we can get up to that early enough, that'd be awesome. So just range firepower. I like we haven't really played a range faction. I'll kiss them, I suppose. They're pretty range based. Kiss them is very strong though. They're range based units, yes, but they're also melee units in equal quantities. It's just an insanely strong faction, Kiss them. I hope these guys are kind of similar. I've really been enjoying that over the last couple of campaigns actually. I don't think I've actually played a campaign yet in Warhammer 3 that I didn't enjoy. Right, let's go, lads. I'm gonna to listen to this so we can actually hear. Oh man, look at all this stuff. Oh, so this is the new campaign-y thing. Ah, oh, right, okay. So, maintain control of the following eight provinces. This is for long campaign. There's probably a short one, which is probably the one we will do. Alright. I we could go for long, I suppose. Destroy the factions. Clan Eshin. Is Clan Eshin even in this? Uh, Rebel Lords of Nanyang. Disinterter. Lords of Jinsing. Sethero's Watchers. There's some terrible pronunciations going on here. 
Uh, that's worth 50k as well. I do have to say, because I just heard it in the background. If you hear a clicking in the background, it is my heater, because it is the middle of winter over here. In lovely old New Zealand, it is cold. Actually, what is the temperature? Let's, let's check that out. Let's not that you can see what I'm doing, but that's fine. It is currently 2 degrees. <laughs> 2 degrees Celsius. Nice. Nice. That's 10 o'clock in the morning, by the way. It's not like it's early morning or anything. Uh, destroy the following factions. All saying I, Broken Wheel, Flaming Scribes, Oracles of Zanesh. Seth and Rails watch. Those guys are really strong. Right, these fall in silence. That means that guy's not going to spawn. That's awesome. Uh, Harmony. All aspects of development in Cathway are aligned with yin or yang. Bonuses are earned and penalties are suffered based on the balance between the two. Wu Zing uh, Compass. The Wu Zing Compass influences the flow of winds of magic around the Cathway. Oh, yeah, because she's pretty cast at the base as well, eh? The rulers of the Celestial Empire may use its power to bolster their defences, enrich their lands, and divert harmful magic away from the desert. Okay. Ivy Road, that's the trade thing. Cathawayan, Cathawayan, yep. Factions can send trade caravans to the west along with Peerless, along the Peerless Ivy Road. Choices will have to be made and challenges overcome in if expedition. Expeditions are to be successful. Why can I not talk today? I rewrote, of course, um, wrestling to the silk road, right? And life agents of fate weaver fan the flames of rebellion. We cannot risk such sedition reaching Nangal. Okay. Uh, defeat an army belonging to the following faction the rebel lords of Nanyang. Okay. Uh, we're getting a strong ast astromancer. Let's have a look. Trust. So this is the compass. Oh geez, okay. How do you move it? In three turns. Oh, you just like click on which one you want. Alright. Strength determined by energy reserves, always active. Alright, so the more reserve power we have, the more things we get. So defensive supplies 500, casual replenishment rate plus 2% per region. Uh, if we activate that, uh, uh, these all the time are they? And then if we activate it, okay, cool. Uh, recruitment cost minus ten percent per region, and we get a spell bombardment. Range damage seventeen hundred. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Fifty percent armor piercing damage, explosive damage at one hundred forty four hundred percent. I don't know what that symbol is. That's armor piercing. The top one, the fifty percent. Armor melting, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Right, Celestial Lake. Uh, strength determined by energy reserves, always active again. Oh, it's a growth. That'd be really good, actually, get early. Uh, growth plus three. Income from all buildings, 15%, if we go that way. Winds of magic, uh, increase of strength, 40%. Dragon Emperor's Wrath. Oh, control. Obviously, land legendary control is very important as well. I think early on, growth is better, though, right? Control plus two per region, if we do this one. Oh, it doesn't look, no, probably can. Uh, Dragon Emperor's Wrath, extreme attrition applied to armies beyond the Great Bastion. I wonder if that's like enemy armies. Doesn't say, either way. Might be both. Um, active when direction is set. So this one only activates normal. Winds of Magic will steadily decrease in strength. Corruption minus four uh, for Cathay regions and energy. Uh, Enemy leadership minus six per region in Cathaway local armies. Okay, right, so that's the compass thing. This is the caravans. Okay, so you can choose where they go. So how much cargo are you going to send them? Right. So they've got to get there, though, right? Oh, this is the big wall. Okay. Well, we will go through the comments as well from Mark. Oh, I'll just talk about that in the second once we've done this. Can you get like increased units or does he like rank up? You can recruit extra caravans. They cost you money. Alright, we're not going to do that yet. Right, so should we go for a close place? Just to get it done. So if he gets there, he gets 1350, but it costs us 500 to send him. Right, but if I send him with a grand, it gets two and a half. Two, yeah, okay. That's if he makes it. We probably fight that, eh? If, if we need to. Okay, should we do that then? Yep. 
Uh, I'm not going to do a grand though, just because it's this first one. I'm going to do 500. Dispatch. Caravan is on the move. I will make my father proud. Oh, two regiments of renown. Oh, look at that. This is our first campaign with the two regiments of renown. So we've got the Duna Dragon Celestial Guard Dragon. I think this is the um, unit I was talking about. Yeah, Celestial Guard. So that's a strong unit. Yeah, maybe it was those ones that. No, they're not valid. Ah, uh, it's a cavalry unit. No, uh, so well, we'll have a look at that properly when, when we actually unlock those. Right. Technologies. Oh, extra ammo. That's probably the way to go there. Just because we're. Oh, actually, plus two recruitment is very good too. And leadership for the peasants. It's plus two yang. Where do, where do I see that? Is that, that there? It's yang or yang. Right, right. How do I tip them? Oh, I guess from different actions and stuff, right? It tips it in a certain thing. And when yin and yang are equal, uh, diplomatic relations is plus 20. Cathaway construction cost is minus 20. Growth is plus 40. Income from yang buildings is 25. Income from yin buildings is 25%. Control plus 8. Corruption minus 5. Army ability ancestral warriors okay so we definitely want to try and make that as even as possible so if we try and get a yang training thing that'll give me plus one yang so that'll bring it back closer to even i like that plus that's the recruiting rank one i actually want both so we'll go for that one there first all uh, right diplomacy have a look at a couple of quick deals and stuff. Ancestors. Imperial Wardens. Do they Lord want to trade? Registry. Trade agreements good to get off Together the ground, obviously, at the start. Order and balance in the world. Oh, and they're going to give me 700 bucks. Hell yeah, we'll worth. take that. Definitely want to get trades running as fast as you can. Trade, please. This quick deal stuff is so the good. Bloodline of the Celestial Emperor gives they want me a non-aggression pact as well. And they want to give us 200 bucks. Cool. So that's about 100 bucks with the trade we've just acquired. So that's good. Don't think anybody else would probably want to do much. I don't know if this is a good thing for the game or not, having these quick deals available, but I do enjoy them. Makes diplomacy so much easier. Right, and our objectives. So victory conditions. Route 1, Route 2... Route 3 or Route 4. We well, can't do Forge of Souls, that one's turned off. So I wonder if we just have to do one of those. Maybe. Like destroy all those or something. Right, I've got our mission to go and do that as well. Right. This, do I move this? Doesn't look like it. Right, let's Storm look what we've got in the army. So we've got her, of course. Let's have a look at her. The Celestial Meowsy. Uh, spell resist and missile resist along her top line. Uh, minus nine melee defense uh, surrounding her. Different relations, construction costs, into magic. 4% ward save and melee defense when fighting those factions. Plus 10 range for the whole army, that's really good. Reload time reduction, 20% for the whole army, that's awesome, man. Big buff for her. She can turn into a dragon, right? And then she's got her standard melee line. We won't even look at that one. No healing or anything amazing in that one. No. Uh, so she's also a caster. Uh, we probably won't use her as a caster early on. I'm sure we can get another caster. Just because there's so many other things she needs, like this line. And this line. And that line. <laughs> there's usually not enough points. Uh, although there's the up level 50 now, so it does obviously help, but... I don't generally make my lords who are casters actual casters because there is other casters I can use, whereas I can't do this stuff on another person. Right, that's our very first one. That's 75% uh, experience per turn. That's the one you want to get running as soon as possible. Um, and then go down route marcher. You only got 5% on that. It's not the 10. Uh, recruitment cost. She has lightning strikes. So we're doing lightning strikes, quartermaster, and the great bastion. That's where we want to round out there. Uh, and then I'll just see how we're going to build our army as to which one of those we're going to go down. 
Right, so we've got her obviously. We start with a Celestial Enemies. Dragon. Enemies Celestial everywhere. Dragon Guard, which is a anti-large shielded unit. It's only bronze shield though. 35% resistance to uh, range damage. Bonus versus large. 36 standard with a 20 bonus versus large. A really good bonus versus large actually. And we've got armor piercing. So that is a Yang unit. So we need to combine the Yang and Yang unit, right? So you put one beside each other so they like buff each other. So the black one is Yang. Yes. And the white one is Yang. Okay. We've got Jade Warriors, very cheap unit, armored and shielded again with bronze shields, a lot of charge resist, stats aren't amazing, 24, 36 and 28 respectively, I mean 36 is alright as far as defense goes, but not a lot of damage there, not a lot of melee attack, won't be hitting a lot, um, present long Check spearman, 25 with a bonus which is large of 17, that's a good bonus as well. Again, 24 and 28. There's good charge defense though. Embracing this unit deals additional damage when attacking charged enemies. Cool. Embracing this unit negates the charge bonus of any attacker. That's really good. You get an attacker with like a hundred charge bonus, and that guy just negates him. Uh, Celestial Dragon Crossbowman, this is where our power is going to come in, right? 29 armor piercing damage, that's really good. 160 range, 27 ammo. Yep, very good unit. Uh, peasant Archer is 140 at 15 damage. Okay, Peasant Horseman. Just like a standard horse unit, 26, 26 and 28. They're alright. I think they're slightly better than, say, like the Chaos ones. Um, this is a unit I'm very interested in. I've come up against these quite a lot. They do a lot of damage. That range damage, eh? Always flying. 467 damage, 360 range, 24 ammo, flaming attacks. It's crazy. Always flying, cannot land. you got to have something else that can fly, right? She can fly eventually, right? She flies if she turns into a dragon. Yep, yeah, cool. Now let's have a look at our buildings. Uh, provincial capitals, just a little standard stuff in there. We've got this one, which we won't obviously get to until way later. The ninth wall. It's a lot of buffs there, though. Uh, supplies 500, attrition minus 40, melee defense for the army 10, plus 600 defending, extra 30% ammo. Uh, resources is obviously our recruitment. Jade Warriors with crossbows. Jade Warriors with halberds. I think that's the unit I was thinking of. Gee, they're not as good as I thought. Stat wise, melee defense only 34. Uh, and then that's our cavalry. Jade Lancers, flying dudes. Iron hail gunners. Oh, what's that? Short range. Shooty shoot, right? 36 damage, armor piercing, that's quite high. Money range though. Then that's our grand cannons. Crane gunners are really good. They were broken, right? I don't know if they still are or not. 275 range, 30. 8 armor piercing damage plus shield breaker. Wow, that's actually really good. And that's the unit we want to get up to, right? Fire, rain, rocket. Like early on, as possible. Celestial Dragon. And then Celestial Dragon crossbows. Ah, oh, so we've got the two high tier units. It's real high tier. Uh, we've got an Astromancer. Uh, Wu Zing War Compass. Okay, that's a buffer unit, I think. And then the Terracotta Sentinel. It's a very strong unit, very tanky. He's only got 30 melee defense though. Oh, he's got a lot of life. Look at that, 9,500. Yeah, he's got a lot of life. Um, and an alchemist, that's obviously the caster. And a sky lantern, which is the range damage one. And then there's also the sky junk, which is another range damage. What's the difference? That one does way more damage. Yeah, way more damage. Okay, and then obviously we've got our standard defense buildings. Which you will have to get. You get two options, whether you want to go yin or yang. Okay, interesting. They're like the same, but obviously yin and yang. The same, but slightly different. And then the same for the standard stuff. Now these, of course, we try and avoid building in our main capital if we can help it. Because then I go up to level 3, and obviously you want... This guy goes up to level 5, right? Whereas the minor ones only go up to 3. So you try and build these things in the little ones. And build this one in the bigger one, right? So anything that goes above level 3 is good here. Anything that goes to level 3 is better here. You're kind of wasting a slot if you build a level 3 here. 
Although there is some level threes you would build, like this, for instance. You'd build here because it's a unique thing. It's unique to this, so you could build that there. Oh, I've got that available, which is really where we want to go, right? Just wondering what I actually want to build first here. I'm mean, usually we go defense. Um, and we're kind of wanting to get Yangs, right? But this is going to help us with trade. Mm. Well, I'm going to build this first because I'm not going to be too far out of this region anyway. So we'll get there. We've already got two trade partners, so an extra trade resource, which would be quite nice. Uh, right, uh, Mark's bastion. comment. So, he says to repair the wool ASAP. I don't want to repair the wool, man. Oh, there's anything in there to repeat. Oh, could have I gone there? I could. So the caravan may not make it. Um, so it says to repair the wall. Peasant spearmen have expert charge defense, which we'll just look at. Check pretty good early, early to mid game. Get rockets ASAP. Melt them before they attack you. Keep the yin and yang buildings balanced. Same with the battle setup. Yeah, you're right. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks, Mark. It doesn't look like it does. Unless it's. Was it in the building? The wall? Because it was that big wall thing. That. Maybe. I don't quite know what you mean by. Rebuild the wall, mate. But uh, let us know. Comment section down below. Right, we're going to pick me a unit. Defender. Oh, what do I want? I kind of want that, but I think it's going to get destroyed. Usually we'd pick a big... Big dude, right? To fight for me is oh, I can get honor. some of them. We're going to fight this unit first, though. Right, I'm taking the, um, the sky jump. Inefficiency is intolerable. What are you going to call it? Skyhammer. Yeah, <laughs> slide bacon skyhammer. I like that. I like that. Right. Let's go the smash this dude. Dragon. So we're going to fight this because we want to have a look at the units. Let's see if she can turn into a dragon. Or we need to do something more for that. Hopefully not. Uh, we're going to have a look at, you know, how we've got to set up the units and stuff as well. Obviously, we're not going to lose this, but... It doesn't mean we don't need to have a look at anything. I see we just checkerboard them, yin and yang, beside each other. Which kind of means you need ten of each unit, right? And whether or not she counts. Or as close to, I suppose, right? doesn't have to be bang on perfect. If you had eight of one and... 11 of the other it would be, not counting lords. Not counting lords, the main legendary lord. These units look cool, right, from the ones we've seen. Right, so yeah, so... Oh, that actually says on top too. Oh, that means they're in harmony. No, it doesn't. Order and balance. Does that change? Right, so he... Uh, information, please. So he's that one. So if I put that guy beside him... Archers! Yes, that means they're in balance. Okay. And see, so he doesn't have one, so it means he's not in balance. But if I bring him over beside this dude... Yeah, that means he's in balance now. Right. So what benefits do we actually get from that? Warriors! Uh, activates when within 60 meters... Okay, so... Oh, we get that one. So leadership plus 12, melee defense plus 12, melee attack plus 8. That's really good. That melee defense plus thing is really good. That brings them up to like 36 melee defense. Is that the same for everybody? Yeah, yeah. That's actually really powerful. What about on, say, that guy? Is it all the same? What about if we put a ranger in there? Oh, he's got it anyway. Yeah, so what's his one? Reload skill, speed. Leadership plus 12. I don't know what reload skill is. I assume it means he fires faster. Dude, that's really strong. It is. Same thing. So all the rage units are like that range thingy. Right, cool, cool, cool. Right, let's set these dudes up then. Whoa. So. Wind and fire. 
Yes, right. So most of your melee Defenders of are yang, and most of your range seem to be yang, right? So if we just, like I say, if we just check about them, this one's quite enough. You go three. Three deep for range units, that gives you the most amount of firepower. Uh, so I'll just group those as we go. So if you who don't know, grouping, um, just go control whatever. So control one, control two, etc. Control three, control four, whatever you want to set the number is. This locks the unit in so they'll try and stay in this formation um, if they want to attack. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Uh, if you've got range units in there, you want to put on guard mode. What guard mode does for range, um, is essentially if they don't have guard mode on, the whole unit needs to be able to shoot at whatever you're targeting. Whereas you've got guard mode on, only like this little section needs to be in range. And then these guys, once they become in range or whatever, or they come on the right angle, they actually start shooting. So you want to put defensive mode on uh, for range stuff if you can. Plus, with defensive mode on, if they're shooting something and it runs away, they won't chase it to keep shooting at it. So you range mode for range stuff. Ah, uh, sorry, defensive mode for range stuff. It's almost a must have. Uh, these guys are going back in there. I'm trying to make my infantry like as as chunky as possible, but they just need to hold, right? I don't have another range unit though. So, now does she count as a yin or a yang? No. I think that's where she transfers into a dragon. Right, nice, 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 nice. So if we put that guy there. So this guy's not in a yin or a yang state, right? But if he goes out here, is he? Yes. So how far is it? What if he goes there? No, he loses it. Okay, so he needs to come back here. But yeah. It doesn't say like what the distance is. Oh, you've got one on top and this one too. Right. So this guy doesn't have it, but he's cavalry, so he probably won't, right? Unless he gets his own cavalry unit. Yeah, right, okay. Uh, we'll try and get a little bit of magic if we can. So we've got... We've got an extra three. So we've got 36 in reserve and a power rating of 13 out of the 50. Now we'll start deployment just so we can have a look at these units. Don't push J. If you push J, your units turn around, by the way. <laughs> in case you're wondering. They, that's J. They changed their direction. Right, let's have a look at units. Push K to go into the camera mode. So this is peasants? Yes. And then we push in to zoom in. Pretty generic unit. These guys are not those. These guys are cool. Oh, look how heavy armoured they look. Man. Actually, is that woman or guys? I can't tell, to be honest. Guys, surely. I like that unit though. That's cool. I like a lot of these guys' units. So that's just more peasants. Oh, so that's peasant archers. With a nice little recurve bow, I like it. Oh, these guys are celestial dragons, right? Look how good these guys look, man. Or girls, I think that's girls. Well, it's a guy, obviously. <laughs> it's just a hairy girl. I think it's a mix of both, right? That's a really cool looking unit, though. Yeah, I like that. Uh, we'll come back and look at her. She's floating on literal cloud of lightning. That's really cool. So this is the crossbow variant of the same. It's a big old crossbow, man. Yeah, again, a mixed unit, woman, guys, cool. And this is the same as that unit we looked over there, and this is a peasant cavalry. Oh my god, they've got... Oh, I thought they had, like, pitchforks and stuff, but no, not quite. Oh, that's a, that's a hay-moving thing, isn't it? That... I think so. I mean, those are obviously spears, but... Maybe it's not. It's just weird. I was just looking at the... Things on top of the hill there, that's pretty cool. That's your rice fields or whatever, right? Man, oh, actually, if we set up up there, that'd be insanely powerful. Because how do you get up there? You have to go, like, all the freaking way around there. Unless you're flying, of course. Oh, I didn't look at the flying. You didn't look at me, mate. What did I call myself? Sly Bacon something? Sky Hammer. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's a good name. That's a good name. I'll zoom in there. Oh, so they got... Range plus rocket batteries. Ah. So they all fire at the same time or what? Can I stay on this unit, please? Don't do that game. Oh, so annoying, does it? What's this? 
Oh, you can cast spells as well? What the hell? This is top tier unit though, right? Yeah. I can't, it just won't let me. It just won't let me get I'll put them in group two. Does it help? Yeah, that sinks. He's always flying as and he can't land. Actually, within 60 metres, right. Okay, so that's quite a range, actually. Charge bonus of 1. He's definitely not going to melee. Jesus. 8, 8, 20. Holy crap, that's useless. He's definitely a flyer. I suppose... It, yeah. Okay, we need to get something to fly and protect him. Oh, I suppose our range stuff can protect him. That's cool. Alright, let's have a look at her. She, what's her stats like? Let me look. She's slow. She's on foot at the moment, I guess. 65 melee attack, 55 melee defense. We're going to at 323. That's quite powerful. Remember, she's a caster. When two or more units in the same army share this attribute, intensity increases the power of spell cast. Oh, right. So we definitely want to have a caster in here. Like another caster. Uh, armored melee expert. Yeah, 70 armor. Okay. She's really cool. I want to see what it's like when she transforms into the dragon. Like, what's her stats and stuff like then? Right. Okay, to get us back out of there, we shall start the battle. This is going to be an annihilation. How, what's the rage on this? 360. Look at his damage. 636. Jesus. What's his damage? 21. 40 damage on that range. Holy hell. Why is only 30? I thought it would have been higher. No defense. 40 on that guy's crazy. Where's the peasant archers? There, yeah, what do they do? 21. Yeah, they say. No, peasant archers though. Jesus, look how much damage this thing's done. Oh, what's the range on that? 10 minutes. This is why you need rocket batteries, right? And she's got a reduction in speed and a heal. Okay. <gasps> she can do a dragon. Do it. How are you? Increased speed for sure. With a little bit of extra damage and stuff. Didn't really seem to do much else though. Your stats didn't seem to change a heck of a lot. Your speed did obviously, it's up to 80 speed. Ah, uh, shoot that guy please. Kill them, cut the wall. Ah, oh, you wanna get these guys in? Ah, yeah. uh, do we? It's a range unit there. Shoot that one. You shoot that one. Does that make you more of a melee person? Maybe. Oh, there might be spells she can't cast um, when she's in that form. i kill them, please. Where's my cavalry? Oh, they're not even doing anything. Oh. Can you shoot him too? Oh, you come back then. Oh, they're going to die anyway from that damage. How are you? That's a lot of damage. Alright, you don't need to do anything, dude. Hit him with the slow. Nice. Right, we're just going to let these guys play out, because if you kill more, uh, if you kill more, you still get the bonuses with it. After. What's the speed on that? 32. Okay, we'll slow this. Let's see if these guys can uh, kill that off. Plus, obviously, you get more casualties and stuff like that as well if you finish off after the battle is actually won. And if you annihilate all these, obviously, they, they won't come back because they're dead dead. I think we get a caster or a necro. Not a Necromancer? No, not a Necromancer. A Pyre? Not a Pyromancer? I don't even know. Astromancer, that's right, isn't it? I think that. Right. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I mean, he's picked up 40 kills. How much damage did that artillery piece do? How much, how much damage did I do, mate? I did 69 damage. Appropriate. Right, killing that off. Keep on them, please, man. See, so it's got 100 kills now. Jesus. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so much damage. This is just free damage for him. Good stuff, lads. Do I lose anything? I lost two. Ah, oh, rude. How did I lose two? Oh. 
They might call it junk, but it's pretty powerful. Be really interested to see how that stacks up um, in a big battle. Especially if we fight like Skaven or something like that. Right, what's our options? We've got leadership, uh, replenishment, or money. Okay, we'll go. We'll go leadership, actually. We don't really need money or replenishment because we're in our own territory, so we're going to replenish anyway. Right, and that's that quest complete. A potent ally has joined your ranks. Gosh. So we've got a thousand bucks, we've got Astromancer. Right, so what does he do? More rebels infest the More rebels, damn rebels. And the primal recruit. balance of nature is misaligned. I'm too far in the yang, mate. I need to get some more yang. Astral Malison, or Grand Cathay. So he's a caster. He's a, a, a wind caster, isn't it? I don't know if that's what it's actually called. So what are my caster? Can't, can't even see me? Come on, man. But they don't have their own spelly thing. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I'm sure. Right, well, he's going in the army anyway. Servant. Fortune can be woven. The storm dragon. Cool. And then we want to recruit. The defense effort has I want to see these. What do I need more of, though? I need more yangs, don't I? I actually do. Uh, yeah, I actually do. Um, which is spearman. Oh, give me one of each then. Just try that. I definitely need some more spearmen though. And apologies if you can hear my children yelling in the background. Alright, I think that's us for turn number one, lads. So that did that. Need to restore the balance and we're recruiting this turn. So we're going to hit that next, obviously. We want to try and get this region done if we can. Yeah, there's nothing else I can really do. Oh, is this what you're talking about? Oh, maybe. Go and get the gate. Oh, maybe. And that no, that gate's already up. Right. Well, we could go there. Where's the other one of these? It's the wrong direction, isn't it? Favored daughter. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one first. Could probably head that way, maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's a pretty good turn number one, I reckon. Putting two units. Dawn. The rebels claim the mines, stealing the wealth of Cathay to fund their treason. This cannot stand. Oh, that mine. Okay. We're going there. Yeah, we're going there. It's our the next option. Ah, uh, this is only eight. The storm dragon. So that should be an easy roll for us there. Oh, it's not so much. Uh, it's only a fair victory. I think I'm going to have to encircle this, actually. See if I can get them to come out. Suffer the they should start taking damage as well. Instantly. They may attack out. Oh, well, actually, is that part of it? I yes. bow only Five and eight, that's 13, man. I've got 12. Serve me. Serve the Emperor. There's beastmen right there as well. I like this part of the map, too. I haven't been this way before. Right, he may attack us. Not much I can do this turn, unfortunately. That army made... No, he didn't. He ran away. Okay, so that these guys should take attrition damage. Ooh. The caravan stumbles upon a patrol of allies that have been lost for some time. Guides can show them the way back to the friendly regions. Although this will result in a short delay of the caravan to its destination. Okay. So I can get two lots of rangers, or I can get three lots of jade warriors. I'm going to go look at the rangers. Oh, how much damage did they take? You see, a little bit. I'm going to hold. I'm going to continue on with that siege. I really don't want to fight into there if I can help it. So where do I recruit those dudes from? Right, that one's done as well, so we can upgrade that. Just want to check on diplomacy here. Let's see if anybody else wants to trade now that I've got a new trade thing. They do, thank you. Alright, I'll go with. I think it matters. We've got them first. You may express reverence now. It's gonna be an extra 55, and they're gonna give me some money. I like it. Long live. Thank you. The 
And these guys went to trade as well. So this is all the other Cathaway factions, for what right? Reason am I Another 50, for my 60, I don't think there's anybody else that want to trade with us yet. They want military access. I appreciate we will grant them that for a little bit of coin. Yep. Harmony is a child of the child of the nine. City commander. Right. So that got us a quite a little of extra money. What's our trade up to now? Four hundred bucks a turn. That's really good. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade that. It's gonna give me an extra thirty pottery. The corruption's actually pretty bad there too. Yeah, there's not a lot more we can do that turn. So, I mean, we've really got two options here. We can either keep getting ambushed. Oh, Jesus. Hang on. Oh, that's the caravan. Ogre Kingdom's ambushed us. That's not going to go well, is it? All right, we're going to fight it because we don't know what he's got. I assume we're destroyed here, though. We can escape, right? Yeah, we don't necessarily need to beat them. As long as we get to the extraction point, which I assume is way up there. We have to sacrifice some units to do it, though. This is a new feature that came in Warhammer 3, actually. The um, the running away from the ambush. I've never actually done it before. They always done it to me a couple of times. But I've never actually done it. Surely they're not a full stack, though. Not this year, though. Remember, you do not fight alone. All cafe stands with you. Yes, come on. Just what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? We obey. Is this one full stick? Commander of cities. March in ordered ranks. Peasant spearmen. Praise the dragon. Come on. Archers. Dragon. Those sabers kill us. Must march. Order and balance. Peasant archers. But one of you is just going to have to commit ball. to this. Man, that guy's running funny down the hill. He's <laughs> like scuffing down. These guys are all in skirmish mode. That's why they keep running away. They will perish. Warriors. You try and kill that too. You just come back over here. Try and kill this. Shoot him up, lads. I think we win this, actually. It's been casting us. We need a lot of damage to that war, though. Look at it. Jade warrior. it broke. Nice. Setting forth. Come Attack on the back of this guy, please. Just see if we can stop us. Any nobblers, mate. Oh, bloody nobblers. Nobblers are, of course, quite a low tier yes. unit. Look at little guys. Smashing them, though. Smashing them. Shot. Oh, you're celebrating for you're losing. Oh, look at that oh, man, Saber Tooth to Saber Tusk. Oh, Saber Tusk pack is so cool. I don't understand why these guys attacked us. Good job, Caravan. Caravans just get destroyed late game, though, right? So we're going to do the same thing as what we did last time. We're just going to let this play out for as long as possible. This guy, look at him, he's running. <laughs> Let's go along. Go, fella, go. I mean, I've played out because. Oh, he's only got one foot. That's it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make fun of him. He's only got one foot. That's why he's hobbling like that. So I've played out because I don't think I've ever seen a Lord run like that. Kill them. Right, we'll fast forward it too because you don't actually need to watch that at full speed. I mean, at normal speed, sorry. Right, those guys aren't going to chase that. Right, those guys are out of the range now. Right, we're done. Nice. But yeah, late game army, there's no way you care about to survive, right? Unless you get extra units or something for them. Did the lords rank up as well within the caravans? I mean, obviously the, the armies are. Look, he's rank four, these guys. I don't understand how they rank four. Um, I will take replenishment, right? Nice oh, ripples back no. here, man. 
Oh, that fixture was destroyed. So we're in the same position as the other side. Um, although I do actually win this just on an auto resolve. I don't really don't know where these guys came from. It's a rogue army. So I'm just going to auto resolve this, although these guys are going to take a bit of damage. I can't imagine that anything else attacks that though. At any stage, so order results probably fine. Right, let's have a look at this one, see how much damage they're taking now. They're getting lower. Uh, we definitely weren't, but I'll lose the carry if I order it. The problem with attacking it is, of course, they're going to have towers. Should we do it anyway? Yeah, they've taken a wee bit of damage. Okay, let's attack it. They've taken damage. It should it should make our fight a little bit easier. See if we can run over them. I know when I've like defended against these guys, they kill my towers pretty quick. So I might try and do that. He's only got two range as well. Although in saying that, I've only got three, so it's not like I've got a million. This is our first attacking siege. These are way different than what they were in Warhammer 2. Warhammer 2, minor settlement siege battles weren't actually siege battles, they were just open field battles. They've kind of gone 360, they've kind of gone on 180 and gone the completely opposite direction. Um, and now they've gone to this style, which is, I don't know if it's an improvement to be honest. It really drags out the campaign having to fight all these minor settlement battles like this. The celestial I like the big battles like this, which happen once every 50 turns or 100 turns or something like that. Like it's not quick. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure about this. If I do that and that, does that make them all yin and yangs? It does. Okay. And this guy obviously needs to be yin or yang. So we have a look at him and we have a look at them because we haven't seen them yet. Uh, we're going to try and get a bit of magic here as well. Recharge is blocked, unfortunately. Nothing? Oh no, we got one. Ooh, one. Let's go. Uh, I didn't think we cast anything the last time, did we? No. We did not. So we won't start battle, obviously. Push K again so we can uh, get rid of the UI. And zoom in. Yeah, those are definitely guns. Oh. They seem, they seem quite big for, for what they cast. I hear the Why are you way over here, dude? There's a hut in the background there. It's cool. I like him. He's cool. He looks awesome. I like him. Yep. Cool. Right, come up here, dude. Right, can we make sure he's in that short army, please? And you, and you. Uh, so locking the formation, like I said in the last one. battle, Kind of tries to keep them information, but it doesn't always work. Um, and we want to guard mode on the range stuff. Doesn't matter about infantry, of course. Well, you can guard mode infantry as well, and they won't chase. Generally, I shouldn't say generally. Right, we're going to move these guys up just so the range guys are in range, while this guy continues to bomb from distance. Thank you. You told me that last time. Do appreciate it. There's so much extra damage. Does he have a tower up yet? No, he's building a wall. He's building two walls actually. Well, they're actual walls, not ramps. That's different. That's completely different. Oh no, the ramp on the other side. So maybe I just don't look at it from that side very often. Right, so my range guys are in range now too. Nice. Oh. Oh, that just drops it where he is. Okay. Oh, I suppose at least we know. Oh, he's got spells as well. Of course he does. He's a caster. Look at that melee defense, man. Jesus. Right. These guys need to come forward a little bit further. Not all my range stuff is in range. And of course, the longer the fight goes on, the more um, resources he gets to build stuff. Bring him up to it. I'll see if I can bomb that. Which will break the wall as well. 
Right, my range guys are definitely on range now. Thank you. So let them just kill off stuff. This guy's kind of coming a bit far forward, really. I know he's trying to get line of sight. It's blocked. You really gonna charge me, Benny? Yeah, what I'll do, I'll chuck a melee defense on that guy. And that'll chuck him up to 76 melee defense. Oh my god. That's insane. Right, he's got a tower. Don't shoot the stuff. Right, now that he's got a tower, I'm just gonna just charge into you. With everybody. So, unlocked, so they don't have to hold formation, they can just run in. So that means my melee guys are actually running me. Can I shoot that with my range, actually? Uh, what's the range on that? 90. Can you shoot that, and can you shoot it too? So I can get rid of it. So he's shooting that thing. Is anybody taking damage yet? Let's see him. Oh, he Right, should we make her a dragon? Oh, no cat, right? I can't shoot that. Can you guys shoot it? I need a um, siege break and actually break that down. Better heal me, please. Thank you. Oh, that does so much damage. Peasant archers. Is anybody actually shooting that? No. No, it's really handy. Not picking these guys up. We're a bit all over the place here at the moment, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, God's gonna die. This wall just needs to go down. If I rocket battery that, I'm probably gonna hit myself. How much damage does this thing do? Can I f I'm going to float over and drop it on them. So that circle is where it's going to land. Just don't let myself get shot to pieces. Chuck a heal on them too. Oh, of course you can go dragon, right? To help protect them. He's got another tower up. He does. In the back there somewhere. Nearly, 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 nearly. And go. Understood. Yeah. That seems to do a lot. Ready to defend. Right, you turn into a dragon then. Let's see if we have more success attacking the gate if you're a dragon. Shit there. I don't know what he's got left to be honest. You know he can't even attack the gate. He can fly though. Go, 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 go. Oh, that gate's actually breaking. Yep. Keep shooting. Can you heal me, please? Thank you. Didn't stop taking damage from those towers. The towers are the worst, man, when you're trying to attack and stuff. Oh, my God, you just destroyed that. Oh, I definitely need a siege breaker. Which is a wall breaker, you know, they can break down walls, they do extra damage versus walls, so I definitely need one of those. Don't really know why you're still here, to be honest. Right, that's done. I'm sure if this guy dies, we run. Chuck that on here. Makes it 88 73 melee attack, melee defense. That is insanely powerful. What have you got left? One unit over there, is that it? Go, go, go. Go, dragon, go. Where are you guys going? Listen. Fire! Oh, that's an anti-large unit, so I've got to be a little bit careful. You'll probably have land on me. This guy can't shoot him for some reason. I'm in there, okay. Damage. Nope, okay, that's just, I just don't want to. Do you guys come over here? Repositioning. 
Did you land? You did. Okay. Uh, right, buffs available. Let's do it. Oh my god, she destroyed that wall. What the hell? It was so fast. Does that turn her into a siege breaker? It does, it does. Oh, that's good to know. So we do have a siege breaker. Um, now, because we're in a settlement battle, we don't have to stick around because these guys are all dead anyway. We can still stick around if you want to get extra experience for units or whatever, but you don't have to in a siege. I only lost 38, that's not bad. Although the AI built more walls than actual towers. I think it only built two towers. I don't even know if that second one was actually there or not. It looked like it was, but could have just been my eyes. Could have been deceived, mate. Could have been. Uh, we've got 15% physical resist, bit of money. Oh, so that's experience, right? Bit of money there, 580. Nice, we're going to take this in, obviously. It has the honor of joining Cafe. Nice. Only Nan Li remains in the hands of the rebel lords. Bring the entire province back under your control. Okay, we will do that indeed. Right, so she's level three. So like I say, we're going to get inspiring presents because it gives us that 75 experience per turn for the whole army. And then we're going to go root muncher. Now what'd she get? She's got Dawnstone physical resist. No Batman's right, so you can put Meowie. that on this dude. Oh, you can actually equip your um caravan guy. That's my caravan guy, right? Yeah, caravan master, what she says. Storm Dragon. Um, you guys can name him if you want. Can I? Uh, yes, you can. And that guy, yep, you can name him too. The only thing you can't name Favored is the Lord. Yes. Daughter. The Lenary Lord. Uh, so you can have that potion. So he actually levels, so he's like a proper Lord. Right. Uh, yep, yeah, no, do that first. Try and buff up his stuff. So, what is this? Caravan shortcut event minus 10%. Chance of caravan ambush minus 50%. Definitely take that. Uh, attrition rate. Sale value of cargo. Maximum capacity of cargo. Wow. Leadership. And then buffs. The army. Okay. Uh, chance of being ambushed. <gasps> Hang on, we only get one. Oh, we only get one. Is that true? Yep, see these are all locked now. Okay. Uh, ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> I don't know what to pick. What should we pick there, guys? Which one is the best? I don't think that one is. I think that one is pretty good. Obviously that one's good too. But obviously that's good for having extra value and caravan capacity is also really good too. So you can take double. Which one of those should we go with? I'm not really sure. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I'll hold off on that until that happens. I stand right, so that's down there, but you guys need to go and get the wall. But I think we do this first, right? What's our garrison like actually here? Mm, not that helpful. Right, that's building. Uh, what's this? Oh, we can do a compassy thing. Okay, so I think growth, right? Control is obviously very good too. What is that control at the moment? Minus 16, holy moly. Oh, 10 of that's because of conquest, right? Right, I think I'll let you guys decide that too. Which way should we go here? Control or growth, I think, is our two options. I think control, I mean growth, sorry, but yeah. Not 100% sure. And also, how do we build that Lord? Storm Dragon. Ooh, is he? No, how do we even click on him? Do I have to go in there and do it? That's weird. Oh, hang on. What if I just clicked on caravans? <laughs> do. No? <laughs> oh, no, it does, does, does. Oh, you can recruit. Sometimes. Mate, can you recruit before they leave? Uh, maybe. He can be renamed too, actually. Ah, uh, you can rename the units in there, but I wouldn't. <laughs> So <laughs> die. No, die. Well, maybe they won't. I don't know. Yeah, so let me know how we should want to build that guy. Which one of the compassy things should we go on? And if you want to name a unit, tell me which unit you want to name. Um, and what do you want to name them? Keep PC though, guys, please. Alright, guys, I think that's where we wrap this one up. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, remember, hit that like button. It really does help the channel out. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time.